Hey everybody, welcome back to Nuclear Throne. So today we're going to take a look at um, update number 69, which is recently out. Now we had a look on stream yesterday at some of the stuff. You may have seen the, the two highlight videos of the two new weapons. Hopefully we'll find the incinerator again so we can use it. So there's two new weapons, more character selection work, uh, improved spawns, um, a, a ton of changes and fixes and stuff. The spawns, there was a small bug, but that's now been hot fixed, so that's not a problem anymore. But um, some of the changes in loops, so as far as I'm aware, there's a, there's a new change where enemies will now spawn in groups when you're in a loop. And I've seen, I have I've watched, I watched um, Devil Eyes Eight last night playing, and he got to a loop and there were like three or four ball mums spawning in the sewers. Now that shit's crazy. So hopefully we can see some of that stuff. Um, other things that have changed, various balance and things to like the crown exploding, not not the crown guardians, the, the the exploding guardians in the palace now spawn less bullets. Loads of different things going on. I'm just going to do a daily with uh, with horror. Um, do we have a crown? No crown. Good. Let's um, let's do the daily and hold on. There we go. And try and survive long enough to see some of this late game stuff. So it is the daily run. Okay. So what we're looking for is get far in the game and try and find the incinerator. If not, you know we'll um, we'll survive. But um, try and get late game so we can see like double or triple or quadruple ball mums. That would be scary. So I believe they, they spawn in like groups of four, I think. So if you get like it happening, it'll be like four ball mums you'll have to fight at once. Now, what does that mean for how to deal with? You need to get yourself like an energy sword. Hmm. I'll go boiling veins. You need to get yourself like an energy sword or ultra shovel or something and just make sure there's no gas. Because the gas, will, basically they'll be healing each other, which is um, somewhat tricky. But if we get ourselves a, a good late game melee weapon, We'll be fine. We'll be good. We'll be solid. So yeah, I killed the throne in one hit yesterday. Just because, fuck it, why not? <laughs> um, so I used a brap with YV and the Super Plasma Cannon, and you know, it just, it just died straight away, which was fun to see. I'm gonna take the SMG. It was fun to do, like just to get the setup, because it took, you know, one run to do it. I thought it would take for a, I thought it would take a while to get set up, but yeah, we'll take you. Shoot you. Grab the stuff, and you know, we'll progress. So yeah, I thought it would take ages to get set up, I thought, but the first run I was like, we'll do it. Everything just worked out, it was like, the stars aligned, and it was meant to be, and it was funsies. So what we want to do is, you know, get far enough in the game to see some of this stuff, so let's not die too early. So I didn't start with Crown of Blood, we'll put that on later on, no doubt. And we'll see if we can get like a top, you know, top 10 or top 20 score, hopefully. I had a look at Throne, but some of the scores are ridiculous. I don't think I've got it in me to do, you know, 6,000 kills. Maybe I do, who knows? Maybe this, maybe today is the day. I shouldn't put myself down. Maybe today is the day that I suddenly decide that, you know, 10,000 kills is what I'm going to do. So if it happens, you know, we'll be here for a couple of hours. The <laughs> stream will be delayed until I get this shit sorted. Good, okay. So mutation-wise, I'm not really sure what we want. Probably second stomach. That's, that's a good start, you know, boiling vein, second stomach. Get your baseline for survivability down, and then just, you know, play the game. Try and get some, like, I'm, I'm going to try and prioritize bloodlust now. It's something that I don't usually take, but I'm thinking it might be something that we want to take. I don't know, I'm, I'm still undecided if I like bloodlust or not. A lot of people seem to say it's good. I, I think my mind is still set back in the day when bloodlust was actually, like, bad. Um, where is the manhole? Good. I don't really want to take the bazooka with us. I could because we've got boiling veins, but I find it kind of hard to use sometimes. Now, be careful of assassins. Any enemy that was in a sleep state before the portal spawns wakes up instead of dies. So, you know, you need to be careful. Because one hit from an assassin and we be dead. We killed you already, that's fine. Whew, okay. Good. Um, rabbit paw or scarier face? Probably rabbit paw. Get our pickups. Another bazooka. I'll see how it is. Now we need to get rid of this SMG. It's not going to do us very good. If we get eagle eyes, that'll be fine. But, you know, eagle eyes isn't really on my priority mutation list at the moment. It's not really something I want to be, you know, wasting my time with. Oh, rabbit paw, you're doing me good. You're paying me well. There we go. So no need to use the beam just yet. Maybe at some point in the future we shall. 
Where'd you come from? That crow, I think that crow survived the explosion of the car from like a, a foot away and was just like, fuck it, I'll, I'll deal. Hmm. You know, the better two evils, I think. If we're going to be spamming bullets, we might as well be spamming in a huge area rather than just like, you know, all over the place. Now it's time for scarier face, I think. Just going to make this a bit more friendly. Now it's time for you. I'm just going to expend all of my bullets just to make this happen. Then we'll pick up the energy hammer, which will see us for quite a while, I think. So if there's one weapon you want to deal with assassins with, it's the triple machine gun, just for it's just stupidity. I see. Aye, we've run out of bullets, so we have. Excuse me. So we'll grab you. So a bite muscle would be nice. Ooh. Um, doesn't really matter what we take here, we're full on both. So a weapon in this chest could be huge. Could be huge. Ah, it's not even huge. Any radiation? No. Level six already. Don't mind if I do. Has to be laser brain. You you can't you can't deny yourself that beautiful laser brain. No no no. So we'll try and kill some of these crows the traditional way by shooting them with a crossbow, known traditionally throughout the world as the number one way to kill a crow. Big dog dead. <laughs> Got you. I'd say we're doing fine. So a back muscle would be high on my list of stuff that I want now. I think we're setting ourselves up for success though. Good. Oh, cheeky. Just be steady, steady. No need to, no need to blow your load too soon. If we just keep this going, we'll be hopefully at level seven by the time we leave here. Nah, we won't. This is the last enemy, I think. I can sense his last enemyness. Okay, good. It's weird that you pick up a. Was that a, an auto crossbow on the floor? No, it was an assault rifle. It's weird you begin picking up a sense for like when the last enemy is. Like you just kind of know in your head like that's the last enemy. I can feel it. Like back in the day, it wasn't like that. Like I never knew when the last enemy was. I was always getting myself blown up by cars and shit. And eventually you just pick up a sense for it. I don't know how you, you can teach that shit. I think it's just over time you just learn. You get a feel for it. You, you never learn how to aim though, that's just built in within your brain. Sometimes you're just bad. <laughs> sometimes. Sometimes your aim is just a bit too potatoey. Right, back muscle. You have to be. It's fine. May have caused a slight disruption in my heart, but um, we're still fine. Okay. It's a bit scary. Hmm, no back muscle, but I think I'll take strong spirit. Just to, you know. 100% guarantee survival. Damn. So we'd love an auto crossbow or something a bit more. I mean, the crossbow's fine. I would just love something a bit more. Nah, I'll take the splinter pistol, actually. Always going about how much I love this splinter pistol. With scarier face, it's, uh, so the, it's a treat to use. An absolute treat. So hopefully we'll see the incinerator. I don't know if we will. It'll have to come probably, obviously from a weapon chest or a random drop, but I don't know if it's seeded into the daily, so... We'll have to see. Really no bolts at all. No bolts, you see. Probably because we're full up on the energy hymer. If you land somewhere good, I'll give you a couple of those. Oh, I'm up. Best way to deal is just, you know, fire some experience at him and get him to fuck. 
So the change is to Little Hunter in a loop. Apparently he's harder. The, the couple of times I've seen him, it didn't feel like he was harder, but then again, I was so strong, I think I killed him almost immediately, so... I'm not too concerned about him on a loop. I think you would need to be in a poor situation to start with for that to be a problem. Love it when you get good with the... With the big old energy hammer laser brain combo, boom. Aha, death and destruction. Just what you need. Bite muscle, come on. Ha! Aha. Aha, it's good. Okay, that was almost one of those dodgy, you know, spawns. That I was told about. Oh, no. No, no. No, no. Yep. <laughs> yep. If any random weapon drop is gonna happen. The lightning SMG makes me happy. Especially when you've got laser brain. So that was scary for a second, I thought I'd fucked it. Splinter pistol outstayed its welcome. Time to switch it up. To a weapon with a bit more, you know, authority. Lots of energy weapons today. Never a bad thing. And we'll just escape with full ammo. So what do we want for our last mutations? Hmm, smart gun. Smart gun's an interesting choice. But the hammer's just doing too much work. Maybe even, um, trigger fingers would be good. Get a bit of that trigger fingers action. Where's all the ammo drops? Fucking... Right, okay, now you're starting to take the piss. I have rabbit paw, you know. There we go. <laughs> yeah, trigger fingers would be nice. Sometimes you just gotta beam your way out of a fucking problem like that. We should hopefully get enough experience here to get us up to level 9. Don't be the last enemy. No, no, no. Okay. Blood launcher. Mimic! Level 9? No? No, oh, fucking. Well, that is what it is. Hmm. I'm tempted to use the grenade rifle, to be honest. Nah, this will be fine. This will be fine. We'll be fine. We've got enough to, you know, destroy the big balls. The big green balls. So we should be okay. So far, so good. And then, when we get to a loop, we go ham. As they say. I'm also going to have a drink because I'm parched. Hmm. Um, should probably move to the side, actually. <laughs> Just in case the, uh, the beam decides to, you know, go for me. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. I'm not really sure on the specifics of how the beam wants to do its thing. I might even use my experience here. Oh, you fucker. Trick me. If I can get him into a... Yep, yeah, that's perfect. Now I need to wait for the big balls. I'm not gonna fire until he shoots some big balls. Oh, no. Come on. We'll run out of ammo otherwise. We'll give him one more. There we go. Oh, balls. It's not looking too good. The health all! Okay. <laughs> okay. Is there still that ammo up there? No. No ammo. Well, we get our level 9. That's fine. Wasn't the greatest thrown fight I've ever seen, but oh, that's going to be good. So, pickups now, or at least rads now, fade faster in a loop, so I think Plutonium Hunger is going to be useful for us.
Not really bothered about the... Really? So I can't hit you. Oh no. Oh no. Oh my god. Okay. Ooh! So that's weird with the lightning SMG that you can't actually hit the enemy. Let's get rid of that first. Kill some of you fuckers. And um, we'll start picking up loads of ammo now that we've got our plutonium hunger. Which is good. Now get to level 10 quickly. And enjoy the fruits of... Wait, what? What hit me? Hmm. That's not good. It's not good at all. No. Oh. The one health dream. Not getting a lot of ammo here either, which is kind of sucky. Oh, there we go. Okay, now, now we're starting to look a bit better. Look a little brighter. Yeah, had to use the experience there. Too much going on. We'll never hit level 10 before we get the crown vault, so we're just going to avoid crown vaultings. We're just now. Plasma minigun. Hmm. I do really want our Ultra Mutation Anomaly though, so I don't want to mess it up by taking Crown of Destiny first, thus not allowing us to take, you know, the thing we want. So I'll definitely be looking for a change for this. Hello, okay. <laughs> That's how we do it. And the Energy Hammer I've tactically kept all this time for you know who. Or the you know who's since there's going to be several of them. Could be wise to take a smart gun with this. Nah. Right. Anomaly it is. I'm going to have a drink as well. So what I'm told is when the sum total of enemies on the level's HP reaches less than 140, the portal spawns. We had to do something about this, and I think this is the right thing to do. Oh no. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, having two different ammo types is probably a good thing. Okay, it's only one. I think loop two is where we're going to see some of the problems. Whew, okay. Smart gun? Hmm. I'm undecided on the smart gun. It's alright, but, you know, smart guns led me to some horrible, disastrous situations in the past. The fact that it doesn't aim, like, on, on a loop, my main issue with it is it doesn't really do what you want it to do. Oh, fuck off. I guess that's why I need to use this to, you know, kill some shit. Okay, that's fine. I'm forgetting the portal's gonna spawn like way earlier because of the fact we don't have turn of blood. Cause I'm, I'm, oh, hello. Really? Maybe that's a reason not to take crown of blood and just scum the game for ages. Also, on the other hand, we're never gonna get a crown vault. Hmm. Interesting. Did we get any other weapon drops, though? Nah. Well, that's fine. Like, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna complain if it's killing all the enemies for me. Then that's cool. We can go for the long game. Uh, we're probably on about six or seven hundred kills at this point. Not really enough to write home about, but you know. No, no. No, no. Okay. Clutched it. 
<laughs> Please, Gatling Slugger, come with. Good. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Okay, okay. I have no idea where the crystals are. Oh, they're, they're there. Okay, oh, you fucker. So let's just try and kill the rest of the level. Obviously, the crystal is going to be the last thing. It's not going to, like, cause a portal to spawn. It's got too much HP. We still have strong spirit, though, which is fine. I need to watch out for these things popping through the holes. Oh, fuck me. I don't like it when they start popping out like that. Oh my god. Mm-hmm. Oh, you fucker. Good, okay. Woo! We're still going. So what we're going to have to do is find a spawn that's kind of close to a crown vault, charge it up ourselves with our beam, and then get our, our mutations and stuff. Get our extra mutation first, then we'll go crown of blood. Okay. And hope for the best. Keep be a good weapon. Machine gun, nah. Uh. Nice. We want all that experience back as well. Ooh. That's gonna be a tough one. So let's hopefully get the spawn next to the crown vault, please. Good. Nice, okay, we got it. That's fine. As long as we get this, this is all, all that I really care about is getting the extra mutation at this point, and then we'll look towards getting Crown of Blood later, and surviving and hopefully seeing some of the good stuff. I'm going to take Bloodlust, because I keep being told it's really good, so let's, uh, let's see it in action. If it procced right there, I would have been like, you know, greatest mutation of all time. It procced there. Use your spawn. I kind of want to save some of this for Little Hunter when he arrives. Yeah, not, not too bad. Not the worst I've ever experienced, but, you know. So, Bloodlust seems pretty good. Not gonna lie, seems okay. Let's give me more shells. Ah, big weapon chest with things, heavy slugger and such. Didn't really get a good swatch of what was going on, but, you know. So no trigger fingers. No stress. So I'd be looking to probably replace this with an energy sword, if I'm being honest. It does less damage, I think, but, you know. Well, I, I pretty much know it does less damage. But it's faster. Damage over time might be better. And then we can consider Crown of Blood in the next loop, I guess. We should be closing in on the HP thing for what's its face, I don't know. For anomaly to proc. There we go. Good, and no, grab all the stuff. Nice. I feel that we're in a very comfortable position at the moment.
Yeah, let's just mash these guys down as soon as possible. If we can. There we go. It's at this point you can totally and absolutely use your beam for whatever the fuck you want. Just use it. Use it and go wild. Now, that's an interesting choice. Do we go with that or do we go with something else? Is that the plasma or the laser? Laser's been given a, a bit of a nerf. So that its accuracy is really bad. Let's make a bit of a hole here. Cubby hole and just, uh, you know, take your time. Take your time. Concentration set to high. There we go. <laughs> so we'll be coming up for loop two. In a moment. Well, you know, in a little bit. In a short wee while. Really? We're not. Ah, there we go. I was going to see if we not hit the. Yeah, this will shred the throne. Almost immediately. Nuke launcher could be cool. Dragon. We're full of ammo, so we'll come back for that later. That's a lightning cannon? Yeah. Ah! Oh. Cheeky. Plasma rifle. Any incinerators? Would be nice. Just to see it. Just so I can use it for more than 30 seconds without, you know, dying a horrible death. Again, I'm going to have a drink. Move over to the side as well. Without Crown of Blood, it's not too it's not too hard. But um, I'd still want Crown of Blood just for the chaos. I like that the heavy weapons now, the heavy bullet weapons now have larger casings. Looks really cool. Dead? No. You're actually gonna make me do it with a hammer? Cause I will. Cause I will! I ain't scared to. I'm gonna give me my experience back. I was gonna say, is that it? But that was actually quite a lot. Right, what do we want here weapon wise? Oh, hello. I guess I'm just gonna take the bullets and just hope for the best. Break a leg! Pardon? Don't even know what happened there. You would uh, come close enough for me to, you know. Ah, there we go. We'll just finish it off like that. Very good. So, Crown of Blood. Second level of the desert. We'll go for the Crown Vault, get Crown of Blood. And then from there, you know, we'll just go for the best. That rat was hiding in a, a very convenient location for himself. He'd found himself a cubbyhole. He was using my, my, my strats. <laughs> using my, he was using my strats. He's copying me. Ah, well, that's uh, quite a time to use this then. Yeah, I was kind of scared of that. Hmm. Perfect location for this. I'm glad they can't hit you in the portal anymore. Remember that? Remember that back in the day when the assassins could like one-shot you while you were in the portal? It's a sad state of affairs. Oh, I forgot we just do that and we don't even need to fight them. That's uh, that's good, that is. Right. Time to now be on your A-game. I'm going to have another drink before we do this because it could be stressful. We could be dead straight away. But um, let's hope we're not. Sorry, big bandits, but um, no cigar for you. Well, 
this is fucked. Oh no. Oh no. Nope. 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 No, 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 no. Okay, that's better. <laughs> Can't keep me down. I just got blown up by an IDPD grenade. Took it to the face. Didn't even care. I was like, fuck it. Let it happen. Right, now we're in the, the dangerous territory. Oh, good. Big chest, big chest. What you got for me? Um, Probably this, just to, you know, get us through areas, because we need it. What do we have mutation-wise? I, I think I need something a bit faster. The... Probably the energy sword would be good right now. This is where I'm pretty certain there's going to be some fucking nonsense going on. There's going to be a high degree of nonsense that we need to deal with. No nonsense, please. Oh, no. That's one ball, Mom. Um. This is chaos. Absolute fucking chaos. I do not like it. Not at all. What's going on? Oh, okay, there we go, there we go, there we go. Let's use a bit of that to open this area up. Oh, no. Stop them all from multiplying. Thank fuck. Okay, there weren't multiples. I must have, you know, it must be on the next loop then. If we can make it that far. Fucking hell. So we've got a heavy revolver, which could be good for us, actually. Hmm. Still waiting for the sword drop. I don't really want to put the hammer down. It's too useful. It's got so much utility at the moment. Utility is very important. Hmm. And we're running low on experience. Running low on experience. If I take the bullets, since we need those. Running low on exp it's just not good. Everything's going downhill. But I'm starting to see the appeal of uh, bloodlust. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, you need to die immediately, you motherfucker. Oh, fuck off. Good. Waste a few bullets to, you know, make some shit happen. Let's try and stock up our, you know, our radiation. Hmm, aha. The kills we're getting from these maggots, though, that's the good shit. It's the shit you want. Oh, no. Ah! Okay. A little scary, not gonna lie. Ah, 1,079 kills. It's not really a lot. It's top 20, I think. We didn't even see the incinerator. That sucks. Oh, ninth. Okay, I'll take ninth. <laughs> I'll take ninth place. That was okay. It wasn't too bad. It wasn't the greatest run. At the end there, we ran out of experience, which was kind of a shame. We didn't see either of the new weapons. 
Hopefully on stream tonight I'll find the incinerator and we can use it properly and do a whole video. We didn't see any multiple ball mums either. What's going on anyway? Loop 2, not too bad.